name is Simon. I live in a storm drain. When it rains, most people go in. But I go out. Some people call me a warlock. But I really am one of the few true magicians. Where do you live, Simon? No place of residence. Hammocks and uh, talisman. What is it, Simon? John. What's this writing you? Aramic. You speak Aramic? Nobody speaks Aramic. It's a dead language. He doesn't know what it means. I know what it means. Well, what does it say then? Well, come on, Simon. What's it say? Good trip. Vagrancy. Loitering. I was just sitting on a curb. You know Hercules? Hercules. Hercules. Hylas. Hercules Van Sant. You should know him. All kinds of people go over there. Hey, if you want to run for office, Hercules says he can get anyone elected. 30 days. You notice how long he waited before he said suspended sentence? Just time for your balls to crawl up in your crotch. They got it down to science. Watch your step. So he's got a plethora of delectables, huh? Huh? Food. Your friend has food? Oh, yeah. He has caterers and everything. He's having a party tonight if you want to go. Out of sight. Been here long? Feet ever so humble. Has a master. Do 
God rest his soul, if he still has one. He told me the fundamentals. From then on, it was up to me. Tricks? No tricks. Real miracles. Liberty, folks? No. What do you do for your bread? Magician. Simon, you're a bag of tricks. Simon's a real thing. Excuse me. What did you think of her, please? Excuse me. tonight, a great master, a real magician, a warlock. His name is Simon, and he is coming right off the heap to cast spells and work wonders. Work for money. <laughs> no one is for free. The price matches the effort. But for those without courage to invest in a major miracle, I have here some minor miracles. Tangible to the touch and modest in price. I have here the pentagram of Solomon the King, cunningly engraved in semi-precious metal. I also have amulets. Charms, and for those who need it, certain things to make you more adaptable to your partner. Who's he? He's a real magician. You must realize I don't even know where you live. Not that it's much money. I know where he lives. get him what he wants. Mm hmm Without doubt. I think you're serious. Poor boy. He could have any girl he wanted. Or any man, for that matter. Always the unattainable. Well, all right. As far as your problem is concerned, buy your material and make your trinkets. I wouldn't want you to disappoint my guests. And do what you can for Turk. You know, one of my guests was particularly struck by you. You do know. Please be discreet, Simon. Her father is the district attorney. Does the district attorney know that his daughter's dropping pills? Magic stuff is fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I was gonna play a little three-cup Monty myself right here. Oh, this is a great game. I mean, don't play it on the street or nothing, but do it at home. Have a good time. See, what you do is take three cups, you put down a quarter, right? And cover that boy up, and then you start moving him around. Like, make it real, you know, all kind of confusing and stuff so folks don't know where it's going, you know? And then when you're all finished, heck, you look up, whoa! 
We'll get back to Simon, King of the Witches, right after this, okay? Okay. And a USA here! Here to tell you about my newest groovy movie giveaway. Yeah, you can win a fabulous all-expense-paid weekend for two in Los Angeles at the luxurious Bates Motel. As seen in Universal Pictures' new movie thriller, Psycho 3. Look, don't worry. Aside from total boredom, nothing's gonna happen to you here. Mother! I figured Bates was a geek, but a full-fledged Looney Tune? Norman! I'll get you for this, Mother. Yeah, 100 callers are gonna win Psycho 3 shower radios. And the grand prize winner's gonna receive an all-expense-paid trip for two to Los Angeles. That's three days and two nights in the Bates Motel on the actual Psycho set at the Universal Studio lot. Yeah, it'll have a real working shower. It'll be cabin number one. Yeah, that's right, where Janet Lee checked in in Psycho and didn't check out. And of course, a weekend at the Bates Motel is gonna include meals and a rent-a-car from Hertz and a tour of the Universal Studios. $100 in cash, and heck, I don't know what else. By the way, your travel will be arranged by Hoffman Travel of Beverly Hills. I can't have that sort of thing going on in my motel. Here's the place that they have a name. Okay, Alan, tell them all about it. Keep watching today's Groovy Movies for Commander USA's secret Groovy Movie Giveaway phone number. Oh. Hey, whatever you do, stay away from the ice machine. I'm letting it lie, and so are you. You understand? Whoa! Hey, anybody home? Simon! Simon, where are you? You're going the wrong way. Oh. Don't ever come looking for me when I'm not here. How would I know if you're not here? Now, look, don't pass this place without me. That goes right to the ocean. There's no way out. Come on up. You get it? Sure. Here's the money. Mm -hmm. And here's the hair. You sure it's hers? I'm sure I'm sure. You sure it's not a fall? I took it off the back of her neck. Was she suspicious? <laughs> no. But her husband thought I was real romantic. <laughs> Get over there in the corner. Okay. We're going to work with the mummy, huh? so we'll need your fluvium and this. Well? Well, what? The fluvium, my boy. The ambrosial fluid from the instrument of love. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of cold in here. Think of the warmth that awaits you. Now, what's the matter? You got any pictures? Pictures? Oh, great goddess Aphrodite, sovereign ruler of love between man and woman, hear me. Send your power into these two essences and draw them into blissful conjunction. Co join. Co join. Co join. Light from the east, light from the west, light from the south, light from the north. Poseidon, mighty ruler of the ocean, hear me. Take this sigil into your depths to hold and keep till the pale moon rises, whereupon release it fully and without stint. We are done.
Well, there you go, stud. On the full moon, your dreams come true. There's a full moon coming up soon. The future can be divined only in essence, never in terms of specific events. The gods leave those to us. Now, place your hand on the deck. Place your hand on the deck. Choose a card and place it here. The fool. Is that uh, you or me? Calling me serious. You're completely unaware of future events. But you're going to tell me about it, aren't you? Another card. It's a warning. Do not tip the balance of justice. It's my office to warn you of extreme danger. You aren't going to give him one of those checks, are you? Oh, why not? If he can read the future, he won't take it. Simon, here you are. Thank you, my man. Thank you very much. And I want you to know that it was worth every penny of that.
dig, God's on high. Though you push me down a thousand times, I'll climb back up. Until I'm more than a man. Until I stand among you. You're equal. trouble. Neither do I. No cooking down here. I think I'm prejudiced, Rabbi. I hope you'll be happy down here. You'll be my witness. I'm not prejudiced. Didn't you sign this check? You almost got me arrested. I'm a magician, not a psychic. I'm a serious practitioner of the magic arts. He called me a quack. What did you expect? He was never serious about it. I gave an honest reading. I deserve honest payment. It's all very unjust, isn't it, Simon? Aren't you going to use your powers to untip the scales of justice? Do you know what you're saying? I'm saying if you really believe in all this nonsense, it's high time you learn the truth. Go ahead, work your witchcraft, balance the scales, and we'll all watch. But for your own good, be honest enough to admit it when nothing happens. Mr. Vincent, I accept your challenge. But have it understood that half of it, half of it comes back on your head. I'll risk it. Name it. Well, do your best. The whole ball of wax. You'll die within two days. Witchcraft, and witchcraft only. I carry half, you carry half, and soon you'll know what that means. You, 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 you. Whoa, hey, hey, look who dropped by. That's my old pal, Wooly. Well, actually, she belongs to Sam the Shepherd. Yeah, he went away for a little romantic weekend, you know, so he sent Wooly over. Yeah, he's a real fool for love, you know what I mean? Right, Wooly? Ah. Whoa, hey, hey, you want to see how smart Wooly is? Yeah, listen to this, here. Hey, Willie, uh, who's your favorite football player named Smith? Baba. Whoa, hey, pretty good. Whoa, hey, Willie, yeah, that's disgusting. What do you think? Whoa, you better watch it, Doug. You'll be on a one-way trip to Mutton Town. Hey, we'll get back to the movie right after this, okay? Okay. Whoa. How important it is for a magician to have the right kind of workshop. You going to build a house? A platform properly stationed with regard to the magnetic poles from which to launch forth my evil missile with lumber by Wyman Brothers. Are you really... Really gonna curse him? Bright and early, tomorrow morning. Really? We shall now wind our way to the boudoir and to take her the gift of Dionysus. 
Into the Stygian darkness I lead my fair companion. Get out of the water. To have, to hold. Forever. magic? No. Why not? Gotta have the gift. How do you know if you got the gift? You know. From the minute you're born. Have I got the gift? No. Well, let's say I do have the gift. But then? The four virtues of magic. Knowledge, will, courage. In silence. What kind of knowledge? Take anyone. They'd say, Oh, great goddess Aphrodite. <laughs> or we're still Aphrodite. Nothing had happened. Why? Because it's Aphrodita. Should a deity listen when you can't even pronounce its name? And you've got to speak with respect. What about reincarnation? What about it? Is it true? Yes. How do you know it's true? I remember my former life. I can't. You're not supposed to. Then how come you can? Because I'm a magician. Things carry over from life to life, determine what's possible and what isn't. How do you do it? I've told you too much. Come on, tell me. Two barriers stand in your way. You have to remember your own birth and your former death. But these memories are very painful, so don't try. Once you get past them, you can remember everything. But don't try. You've got no right knowing. Back to sleep.
Bye-bye, Chicky. You'd better go now. Can I watch? No. I want to see how you do it. Well, guess I'll be going now. Don't forget to take a bath. A bath? There's a full moon tonight. See you. Some of the heaviest stuff we dealt, man. We're thinking about keeping it ourselves, right? Right. It's definitely too tough stuff. Just in time. Give me a hand. Wow. Far out. Isn't this the pad you were kicked out of? It's just a slight misunderstanding, my boy. I find a liberal dose of cash solves off almost any misunderstanding. Now, you grab the other end and be careful. Which one is yours? Mine lies beneath the surface. A basement to the unimaginative, but to a magician, a place of dwelling ideally suited to his work. We're moving up in the world thanks to Linda. Yeah, sure. We're storm rain to a basement. Who's your interior decorator? Hercules would love this place. How'd you make out? Fantastic. As good as you thought? Oh, yeah. I'm going to see her again tonight. Well, just watch out for her husband. Oh, he's a real trip, too. <laughs> he likes to watch. Yeah. Hello in there! Will it pick up TV? It'll pick up anything I want it to. Anytime, anywhere, anyone. I can see, hear, smell, taste. I can even feel through it. All right. Just turn it on. It's not that simple. First, I must charge the effluvial condenser. You're weird.
ball. Oh, it's not the cost that kills you, it's the inflation. <laughs> hey, this movie's getting exciting now, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and this next part's great. See, Simon goes to the witch's clubhouse. Yeah, and ultraviolet bears her soul. Plus a couple other things. Yeah, we'll get back to Simon King and the witches right after this. Sure. Oh, hold on a minute. There's someone at the door. Holly's gone. Simon, you gotta do something. He took her away. And I can't get rid of it. I've tried everything. A cute free officers, eh? Well, there's only one thing to do. Hurry up! Hold your water, I'll be there in Jiffy. case. Well, it'll all be over in a minute. Here now. Take these two ends and pull them tight. Oh. What are you going to do? Well, only one thing to do. Now listen. Hi, listen now. You won't feel a thing. No! Come here. Trust me, will you come here? I'll hypnotize you. You won't feel a thing. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. It's gone. Just like magic. What's the story on the witches? It's all set. Oh, yeah? When? Tonight at 8. In town? Oh, far out. But I got Linda to loan us the wheels. Well, you go get them, will you? I gotta get dressed. Get that, will you? Hi. Tell Simon. What's the matter? Well, well, well. Wasn't it all like you thought, was it? You know, I told you you'd carry half. A bargain to bargain. I, I never thought 
That's the point. I could make you crawl and beg, but I won't. You have to ask me to release you. Release me. the cord and close your eyes. Now ask. Release me. Again. Release me. Again. Release me. All right. Now go home and take up your life again, just as though none of this ever happened. in a weird trip, they'll do anything. When I was a kid, I thought they were a bunch of old hags. I mean, some of them are pretty groovy. Oh, when I told them you were a real magician, oh, boy, did they freak out. So you can have your pick. Wait till you meet Sarah. She says she's the queen of the witches, but she's just an old foreign broad with wild hair. But anyway, she's a real trip. Sarah says it's okay. announcement to make. We have with us tonight someone from the other realm, a magician. As you all know, we of the Wicca worship the Queen of the Night, while he follows the lesser orb of the day. But we shall be kind and trust that our form of worship will be instructive to him. Queen of the night, we invoke your representative, send him to us, we who adore you, to oversee our worship. Men 
Commando USA here. Here to tell you about my newest groovy movie giveaway. Yeah, you can win a fabulous all-expense-paid weekend for two in Los Angeles at the luxurious Bates Motel. As seen in Universal Pictures' new movie thriller, Psycho 3. Look, don't worry. Aside from total boredom, nothing's gonna happen to you here. Mother! I figured Bates was a geek, but a full-fledged Looney Tune? Norman! I'll get you for this, Mother. Yeah, 100 callers are gonna win Psycho 3 shower radios. And the grand prize winner is gonna receive an all-expense-paid trip for two to Los Angeles. That's three days and two nights in the Bates Motel on the actual Psycho set at the Universal Studio lot. Yeah, it'll have a real working shower, and it'll be cabin number one. Yeah, that's right, where Janet Lee checked in in Psycho and didn't check out. Plus, a weekend at the Bates Motel is going to include meals and a rent-a-car from Hertz and a tour of the Universal Studios, $100 in cash, and heck, I don't know what else. By the way, your travel will be arranged by Hoffman Travel of Beverly Hills. I can't have that sort of thing going on in my motel. Here's the place that they have a name. Okay, Alan, tell them all about it. For your chance to win a weekend at the Bates Motel, just dial 1-900-97-MOTEL. Remember now, there's a 50-cent charge for each call. That's 1-900-97-MOTEL. So, start dialing! Hey, whatever you do, stay away from the ice machine. I'm letting it lie, so are you, you understand? Whoa. It's nothing but a plain, old-fashioned double bind. Someone who really turns me on will also be someone to make me lose control, right? That was the problem with Linda. And unless I am turned on, there's no charge to control. The charge, my boy, the charge. Nothing matters but the charge. But there's another way. Another mode whereby the person, the vehicle, might serve to build the charge. The charge that I'll send into the divine fluvial condenser. Ritual flagellation. Violence. To strike, not to strike simultaneously. Oh, dear heart, you're so romantic. I'm quite flattered. Okay, Stanley, now you just stand right here. 
Don't forget the ring, sweetie. Reverend. Oh, I have a feeling something very strange is going to happen. Fire, air, water, earth. Fire, air, water, earth. Is there a fee for this service? Magnetic, electric, magnetic, electric. Charge, charge. Go there and kneel. This isn't a human sacrifice, is it? Kneel. This isn't at all what I bargained for. Magnetic, electric, magnetic, electric, charge, 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 fire, air, water, earth, charge. But at least it's different. Fire, air, water, earth, charge, charge. Charge, charge, fire, air, water, earth, charge, 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 charge. cosmic event has occurred once in a dozen lifetimes, my boy. <laughs> God's on high and God's below. Here I come. Behold, the launching pad. Come here. Over here we have the engine. I'll show you why knowledge is power. It's all perfectly clear. I mean, to those who understand, it's clear. Without these calculations, all my efforts would be wasted. Worse than wasted. Because without them, the whole trip would be a colossal bummer. Time, my boy. Time is one of the most essential factors. Without knowledge of the currents of time, we'd be victims, we'd be pawns, mere phenomenon, understand? I'll open this mirror at 1.33, the precise moment in time when the gods are unable to resist my thrust into their domain. But once I'm in, I'm in. There's nothing they can do. All the powers of the gods will be mine. And so, my friend, you've been a prince of a fellow, an irreplaceable companion, joy forever. Keep in touch, all right? The Bates Motel, just dial 1-900-97-MOTEL. Now remember, there's a 50 cent charge on each call. That's 1-900-97-MOTEL. Now what are you waiting for? Start dialing! A search warrant? They're herbs, man. They're just herbs. Herbs. Nothing but herbs. Hmm. 
traces of blood along here, but it's animal, probably chicken. But here's something that's unusual. Pick it up. See what I mean? You don't seem to want to touch that thing. What the hell is it? Don't know. It's not radioactive. As far as I can see, it's nothing but a bar of metal. He claims that it's a religious object and that it's charged with a vital force. And you know something? I'm inclined to believe him. I don't interfere in your affairs very often. But this time I insist. And I insist. Look, I don't interfere in your affairs very often either. Why don't we try to keep it that way? Baby, believe me. For longer than you've lived, I've been in daily contact with the seamy side of life. Now I know what goes on, and I know what comes out of it. Shut up! If you insist on seeing this man, I'll lock him up, and nothing you can say will get him out. Don't do that, Daddy. For your sake. For my sake? Yes. Simon's not just anybody. Oh? Who is he? Simon's a magician. Linda, here it is. You ought to stop seeing that man right now, or else. And that's that. This afternoon, at exactly 1.33 local mean time, I'll enter into the realm of high magic. My life's purpose will then be attained. It'll be a cosmic event felt throughout the entire universe. Greetings, sir. And how are you this fine morning? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. He's not feeling very well. Perhaps it's something in the air. Oh. Then by your leave, sir, we shall withdraw. <laughs> I think you're crazy. Well, I'm not. Not at all. <laughs> Trees are such wonderful creatures. They're marvelously wise. They've taught me things even my master didn't know. Bye. You know, the powers have ingenious methods for thwarting our purposes. But it's all part of the game, because every time we climb back up, we're that much stronger, that much wiser. Though I've had my doubts from time to time. But this time is it. Everything's right. The time and the tides. The stars and my soul. A major working will be done. I'm irresistible. Don't you think I'm irresistible? Yes. Yes, Simon, you're irresistible. <laughs> I know. I'm going to be at it for a week or two. And there's something I want you to promise me. Yeah. During the major work, do not get high. I mean, don't even smoke any dope. Why? Just because. Just because why? 
Do you have to know? Mm-hmm. All right. A major working can be very dangerous. So? Well, I mean, when you're high, any kind of high, you're wide open. Hostile entities could attack me. Me and mine. Okay? Okay. You promise? I promise. You gotta stop seeing that man right now or else. And that, that. What's the matter? Simon says do this, Simon says do this, Simon says do this, Simon says do this. Oh. oh, don't do that. And we'll get back to Simon, taking a waitress in just a minute. Seven Motel. Now remember, there's a 50 cent charge on each call. That's one 997 Motel. Now what are you waiting for? Start dialing. Heavy things are going down. Well? The DA's really coming down hard on everybody, all the dealers, everybody, man. Yeah, but it's because of his daughter, man. Well, stay clean a while. You don't understand, man. If Rackham wants to get somebody, he's got this narc, Pete the Planter, and if he wants to set somebody up, and then he busts him. Yeah, so can you do it for us, man? I mean, can you put a curse on him? Who? The narc man, John Peter. Not now. We'll get you chicken, man. I can't. A turkey? It's a good thing I caught you before you went in. There must have been 90 guys there, all looking at one of your jars. And then this guy, Pete, says, how's this for smack? <laughs> they looked like they were going to applaud or something. Oh, man, I told you about that cat. How much stuff was there, man? About half a cup. Half a cup? A waste. Oh, well, I wonder who could have put up all that bread. Hey. Got something for you. Fetch might be needing it. Then this tall guy walks what up. What time is it? It's a little after two. Then this tall guy walks up, and uh, as everyone's calling him Sir, I... Count on us, man. You find this John Peter and talk to him alone.
That's fine wine. For a very special occasion. You did it like I told you? Well, yeah, man. He doesn't know why we're waiting here. Wait inside. I want you to walk away from me. And don't look back. Why? What did I do? Nothing. Now do like I tell you. Now walk away. This bond, I now cut. reading a letter here. Fancy envelope and everything. Let's see, from Righty Ann Fingers, Matherville, Illinois. My dearest left... Hey, my dearest lefty. As for my own... Oh, you know lefty, don't you? Sure, let me get him out here. He's... Hey, left. Come here, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's my hand puppet. <laughs> hey, he got a letter here. Let me see if he likes this one. Hey, lefty boy. Will you see this? You got a letter. Ah, sure. <laughs> Here, take a look. My, yeah, I'll read it to you. Take it easy. My dearest lefty, I find it hard to believe that I am actually writing this letter because I have never been one who expressed herself well. But I must let you know that I am physically attracted to you. There, I've said it. <laughs> hey, from the first moment that I laid eyes on your magnificent form, I knew I must know you better. Know every intimate part of your body and mind. Oh, hey, take it easy there, pal. Just the thought of looking at you brings ripples of excitement running throughout me. Saturday afternoons have become an ecstasy for me. I have found an inner peace by merely viewing your presence. What do you think of that, boy, huh? Well, oh, now listen to this, what she says here. It would be too much to ask if there was ever a chance of there being an us. <laughs> so I won't. I shall always, however, remain faithful to my love, faithful throughout eternity. You and I are one. My deepest love, righty and. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what do you think of that, Lef? Well, no, I can't say that now. Lefty will write back to you, Ann. Sure. <laughs> it's the winter weekend at the Bates Motel. Just dial 1-900-97-MOTEL. Now, remember, there's a 50-cent charge on each call. That's 1-900-97-MOTEL. Now, what are you waiting for? Start dialing. Look here now. Simon's pad is just beyond that light. Okay? Now, I'm gonna boogie on out of here, man, because I sure don't want him to see me.
The DA, the mayor, the whole system. <sighs> My thanks, gentlemen. You may retire to your TV set and watch what happens. The next few days are mine. Mine alone. I had to do it. I was pressured into it. Come on, give me a break. I'll admit it was planted. And John, you have one of two choices. You can die with dignity or without it. But to sweeten the matter, I want you to know that I have nothing personal against you or Rackham. Your instruments of faith thrown against me at the most crucial moment of my life. It can only mean one thing. I'm not yet done with darkness. Maybe this will help. You're about to participate in a major magical working. An invocation which hasn't been performed in over 2,000 years. When it's done, you'll serve a new master far more formidable than your old one. I bring a gift. I bring a gift. I bring a gift for he who slumbers. Cartago is to Linda. Cartago is to Linda. Cartago is to Linda. You hear the call. Moloch. 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 I bring blood. I bring blood. Behold. I bring blood. Give a sign. Give a sign and I proceed. I proceed. Here he is. A child, few in years, ready to serve you. Let him deny it. Let him deny he serves you, if you will. He denies it not. He serves. Come in! Crack open the heavens. Crack them open and pour forth rain. Rain. Blood. Continue. Continue. Continue until all is reversed. Do you accept? Give sign. <laughs> Dagger, I send you your servant. <laughs> Mullock reverse. Mullock flood. Mullock reverse. Mullock storm. It is done. Bulletin on John Peters and notify the press. Here is a bulletin from the County Sheriff's Department. Wanted for illegal flights to avoid prosecution, John Peters.
this afternoon. And when he was seen leaving town tonight, I decided the time had come. Well, what does the officer's possession of narcotics mean? Is he a purser? No. Is he not it? Absolutely not. You'll get full details at the press conference. Commissioner, did you conduct a raid yourself? When the police have to be arrested. That's my job. <laughs> which will be presented to the grand jury. Which I am confident will result in the swift indictment of this attorney, Willard Bridal, and all his friends. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And will show how recent narcotics convictions were fortunate and will be set aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> You just have to wait until things clear up. I want it understood that I do not intend to be knocked down by this thing. It's the truth. Chief Boyle. Wait a minute. Chief Boyle. Statement, please. Statement. All right, I'll give you a statement. Come on. I'll tell you what I expect. I expect to see Noah's Ark sail by. Oh, All right. Now, good. Yeah, Dave, you got it. Come on. Hell, the cleaner talk we're in for a big fall. We've got to discuss this thing now. You discuss it. I've got anarchy on my hands. Well, then call out the car. God, help. Oh, no. Ah. Governor Moran has officially declared West Side to be a disaster area and gave us this statement. The people of this state know there is a serious narcotics problem, but as long as I am governor, no law enforcement agency will be above suspicion. The Westside County Engineer's oh, Office five, six, issued a warning to all residents in the low-lying area that floods the For your chance to win a weekend at the Bates Motel, just dial 1-900-97-MOTEL. Now remember, there's a 50 cent charge on each call. That's 1-900-97-MOTEL. Now what are you waiting for? Start dialing! Up for the death kiss on Commander USA's Groovy Movies. Next Saturday at noon. Operator, get me the district attorney's office, please. This is an emergency. Yes. Uh, district attorney Willard Rackham, please. Well, he'll want to talk to me. Simon. Simon. All right. Then take this message and make sure he gets it. Tell him that I disposed of the material that he left in my place. Right. Tell him that I talked to John, John, and we'll both testify if he doesn't back off. Uh-huh, right. Simon.
She got them. I can only tell you the ultimate source. Davies. He has a safe. Everything you want to know is in there. It was Davies. If you think I'm going to back down the Gestapo tactics, you're wrong. Police Commissioner Davies is now being held on a charge involving illegal possession of hot currency. All of it found at his home safe and directly traceable through undercover narcotics transactions. We also have documentary evidence which would properly process will, I promise, the people of West Side result within 48 hours in the arrest and eventual conviction of every dope pusher in this city. Shit. Man, the smacker is splitting. He says the whole place is lame. Everything is getting fucked up. Call Simon. Will you call Simon? balance out? <laughs> That's easy. Here's one I like. 
Death is only temporary. Think about that for a while. Disappointed, you know? Yes, time to close up already. It was a swell 5th of July day, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, boy, I had a good time. And heck, I'm not all that disappointed anyway, because I'm already looking forward to next week. Yeah, let me just deactivate the rolling here. Ah, okay, yeah, next week's gonna be really exciting, boy. Oh, I can't wait, because we're gonna start out with a movie called The Devil's Gift. Oh, yeah, crazy stuff comes in all size packages in that one. Plus, Death Kiss. <laughs> okay, see you next week right here in the video vault. It's 12 o'clock Eastern and Pacific, 11 o'clock Central. Till then, keep your nose in the wind and your tail to yourself. See you, Pilgrim. <laughs> USA's back-to-back -back animal attack starts at 6 with the wild, wild world of animals, followed by the last of the wild. Then it's comedy with John Ritter on Three's a Crowd. And later tonight, Jack Palance is alone in the dark on USA's Saturday Nightmares. Now stay tuned for actress Eva Marie Saint on The Dick Cavett Show, next. <laughs>